Is recovering after being shot on the way home from a basketball game at a Jacksonville high school. Officers say the victims were leaving Rebalt High School. They're among the five children shot in Jacksonville in just over 24 hours. Neighbors tell Action News Jack's Brittany Donovan that something has to be done to curb the violence. JSO is searching for the person who shot two teens after they left Rebalt High School. JSO says the teens were at a basketball game at the school on Saturday night. They got in their car and began to drive home. When they got to Avenue B, I just hear some shots like bloop, 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 bloop. I thought it was firecrackers. I was in my bedroom and I stuck on my belly. JSO's shot spotter indicated nine rounds were fired. Two passengers in the car, both 17 years old, were shot. JSO says they were in this area driving to UF Health Jacksonville when they saw a JFRD fire engine and flagged it down for help. Officers say the teens' injuries were not life threatening. They're among a handful of children hurt by gunfire in Jacksonville just this weekend. Where are you getting these guns from? Where are your parents? Why do they need to put down the gun? That sentiment echoed on social media. Community members saying, please put down the guns. And this is insane. Kids can't even go to a high school basketball game without being shot. While JSO searches for a suspect in Saturday's shooting, neighbors tell me the focus needs to be on youth. They need some sort of a educated activity. The city has spent millions on programs to help curb crime, from the Kids Hope Alliance, which helps children and their families, to setting aside more money for JSO. A task force targeting violence is also expected to be up and running in 2019. Reporting in Jacksonville, Brittany Donovan, Fox 30, Action News Jax.